Hi there, welcome to this tutorial for Nuvo, uh, where I'm going to show you guys how to create the food menu. One of the main things that you'd be buying a restaurant theme for. So the menu here, we've got nice parallax effects for the different um, areas of the menu. So for the appetizers, for the main meals, um, and then within the actual individual meals, you can choose whether it's a chef special and put the icons on for if it's, got, if it's suitable for vegetarians, contains nuts, anything else that might happen there. So from the previous uh, demo that we've, previous video that we've just done, you'll see that if we go to the menu here and we'll, st we'll, we'll go with the two column menu. So this page long now, so you'll see here that we've got the, the, the dark areas where the category um, images are going to go. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to edit this page. Now what I always do is open up the edit page in a new tab. So if we now uh, look at that page when it's loaded, you'll see here that we've got visual composer with the different rows for the different areas on the page. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add this image for the category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the restaurant menu. That's the the, the um, individual post type for this area of the site. And then we'll go to menu categories. So if we click onto menu categories and you'll see here, because I've already installed the demo content, we've got the appetizers, the desserts and the main meals, but I want to edit the appetizers. Now what I've done is I've got our original image, but uh, obviously you'll have to source your own image. So what I'm going to do here is just click on category image. And I'm just going to upload, well I'll upload both of them actually because I'm going to do uh, two of the images for you in this demo. So there we go, so it's the appetizers image that I want to use. So if I just click select, that's there. So then is the image a parallax background image? Yes, we want it to be. And then the parallax speed. So this is a this is a value of no uh, from 0 0.1 up to 1. So we will just leave we'll leave it at the default 0 0.6. So that's fine. So if I update that now, and then if we go to the to the page and we refresh that page. Oops, let me try that again. Oh, I know how that's happened there. So what what's happened there is so we've we've added the image to the category, but what I need to do is I need to edit that page again. So if I open up the link in a new tab. And then within the actual element for visual composer, so you'll see here, we've got the text row, which is here, which is this one here. So then the next row is the food menu, which is this one here. So what we need to do is we need to just edit that. And we need to select the category because we need to reselect the categories when we've imported the demo content. So if I save that now, and then we update that page. And then if we go and refresh the actual page, you'll see there now that we've got the appetizers. So that's where the image comes into play. Now, if we want to change the, the title of the category, obviously we'd go into the category there and then edit that. And we just change that there. And then the description here, this is what appears underneath the title there so you can put a little subheading if there if you want to inform customers what it's about so that's the original image put back in there so i'm just on the demo site there yep so that's the original image put back in there now the actual individual meals if we want to edit those the same again we go to the restaurant menu and we just click on that and you'll see here we have a list of all the different um, meals within our uh, our menu and we'll filter them down here so we'll se select appetizers filter and then you'll see here we've got the different meals that we've got on our demo over here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new one so you'll see here at the moment there's only four so I'm going to create a new um, meal here so if I just create add new and I'm just going to call this a demo meal just um, for now. And then we'll just get some uh, dummy text. So I'll put some dummy text in there. So that's the, the title done. That's the dummy text. And the next thing we need, we choose which category it's in. So we'll choose appetizers. And then if we keep scrolling down the page here, so we don't need to set an image for this at this point in time. So if we keep scrolling down here, we can decide what the price of the meal is. So we'll set this at 3 99 and then is it a chef special? So we'll tick that to yes. Now the tags, if you click on the tags here, 
these are your different fields so if we want to use um, a V for vegetarian so then that's the V which will appear there and then the text that will display when the user hovers so suitable for vegetarians so that's all we need to put here so suitable for I'll call it veggies just so you can see how it works so if we now publish that and then we go back to our demo you'll see there now we've got the demo meal it's uh, there's the dummy text there's the price chef special and it's suitable for vegetarians so we can see there that we've got the um, all the things that we need in there so what I'll do is I'll just add the other category here so I'm going to go back in here menu categories we're going to click on main meals we'll edit that and then we're going to add the main meals image which is the steak so we'll just select that so it's parallax we're going to leave it at default so we'll update that then in the page itself so what I'll do this time instead of editing what's already there I'm going to delete that okay that and then we'll go to, click on the plus icon within the row for visual composer and we want menu food so if, if you want to use our elements within visual composer so we just need to look for the one that we need so menu food so it brings up the settings so the this the category wants to be main meals the heading will keep it at, at heading one the category padding that means how much padding are we putting between the head the the title here so that the parallax image appears so what i'll do is i'll increase that so you can see a difference um on the different headings so number of post six we'll say post heading so we'll leave that there number of columns one so we could, this is where you can edit and change the columns so like on our demo we've got a, a two column menu or you can have a one column menu so there's the one column menu so that's where you would set that in here so we'll keep it at two because that's the one we're editing and if we just save that now and then if we update that page and then we'll go and refresh this here so you'll see there now we've got the main meals category image there's it's a bigger heading so you'll see that's that's slightly thinner and that's a slightly thicker heading because we put more padding on there and then we've got the menu items the actual individual meals um, in there so that's how you create your menu um, so if you've any questions don't hesitate to contact us at support at cmssuperheroes.com uh, and we'll be more than happy to help thank you